Welcome to the Spirit Renewed YouTube channel, where I help you renew your spirit for success. Okay, this is Talk Talks episode 5. And today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about yesterday. Because yesterday kind of sucked. So, I'm going to have a lot of wisdom to give you guys today. Um... I'm at Colster again, this gorgeous and amazing loch that God the Father has built for hundreds of millions of years. But today we're going to be talking about yesterday and what happened yesterday, Jack? Well, that's a great question. Yesterday, my alarm went off at about six o'clock. As it always does, I turned it off and went back to sleep. Then I woken up at 8 o'clock and I turned it off and went back to sleep. No, not my alarm. Mom got up at like 8 o'clock and I was awake then again and I just rolled back over and at about midday I finally decided to roll my way out of bed and... And your mornings sets you up for either success or failure for the rest of the day. So for the rest of that day, I had absolutely no energy whatsoever. What did I even get done yesterday? I don't think I did anything productive. Apart from record one video about depression that I ended up deleting because I want to do that in the future with more emphasis emotionally and with more of a structure to it rather than it being unscripted. Um, so in reality, I didn't actually get anything done yesterday. And this is all because the way your morning pans out is basically the way that the rest of your day is going to pan out. This morning was kind of similar, um, but I did actually get up Although it was again at about 12 o'clock, I was actually able to get myself to do some work, get myself to do some editing, go for uh, a warm shower. But I ended up going for driving lessons with mum and I ended up making a chocolate cake. Haven't tried it yet. So you got to recognize how important it is to get your mornings right. And... What was I doing at this time? Did I actually roll back over and go to sleep? Yes. When I woken up though, midday, I didn't roll out of bed like I said actually. That was my memory failing me. It's because I'm 18 and I'm old, you see? So, yeah, I went on my phone and I watched YouTube. Until five o'clock i'm ashamed to say this because i'm the one that's here giving you guys advice and yet i failed but in the face of things failure is how we learn and failure is inevitable and you just gotta learn from it right if I didn't fail yesterday, I wouldn't be making this video. And this video could really help some of you guys. So what basically happened was... I started scrolling through YouTube. And YouTube... YouTube is a form of instant gratification. Right? I wasn't watching personal development YouTube videos. I was watching funny YouTube videos. Entertaining videos. And I also started playing some Call of Duty as well. Which I deleted today. I also deleted Bullet Force as well, which is like Call of Duty, but not as professionally made, and it can run offline. And what happens is your brain gets overloaded with a huge amount of dopamine. And because there is a, only a certain amount that your brain can take of dopamine, it shuts off some of the receptors. So, 
when it comes to doing something else, like recording a video, or enjoying the outdoors, it doesn't give you as much dopamine because those receptors have been closed off, right? So you get addicted to it. This is why I don't believe in playing video games. I mean, I was doing it in moderation, so I thought it was fine. But having it on my phone meant that I could just run back to it and waste a couple hours on it. That's exactly what I did. You've got to get rid of video games. You've got to get rid of... Things like porn and masturbation. You gotta get rid of things like alcohol and drugs and movies and watching entertainment. You, you gotta get rid of this kind of stuff. In moderation, it can be okay. It can be okay in, um, in moderation. Not really drugs and alcohol, that's not good. But you gotta learn to be disciplined and to kick this stuff out because it screws over the rest of your day and it screws up your consistency. I haven't spoken about consistency on the channel yet, but consistency is one of the greatest factors for success because who do you think is going to reach their goal more? The guy who shows up to the gym on Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays and he works for like six hours straight or the guy that works for an hour every single day. Think about it long term. Which of them is going to keep this habit up? Yeah, that's what I thought. The guy who does it consistently is the guy who achieves the goal. Consistency is so important. If you, if you sign up for my email list you'll get a chance to view my website and on my website i post these videos on it and i post at least two other videos that are related to it one of the videos i will post is one by another productivity slash um self-improvement youtuber who specifically made a video on consistency i'm not going to make a video on consistency because that's just that's just repeating content but even if what you're doing every day isn't going to help you towards your goal directly, like let's say you just want to write a book and write a few hundred words of this book every single day. If you do that, that habit of consistency will help you on the long run when it comes to growing your business or getting through your exams or whatever it is. You always need to be doing something, okay? Do not wake up and have a day where you do absolutely nothing. A complete zero day is never, ever, ever, ever worth it, right? It's never worth it. Having days off where you don't do that much work, that's required. I'm a Christian, so it's not surprising to me when I hear that we human beings are more productive when we take a single day off. For six days God creates for... One day God rests. But I hope this video helps you guys. And I hope that you have watched this till the end. If you have, great job. Because my analytics shows that a lot of you guys do not watch all the way to the end. Unless you've skipped here. In which case you've missed out on pretty much everything. You're wasting your time. <laughs> but I hope this video helps. I hope you internalize it. And I hope... I hope that you remember this because I don't want you having a day like I had. I ended up getting really emotional, not that emotional, towards the end of the day. And this is another point I want to make. What I was annoyed about was the fact that I'm still with my parents and they won't let me use the money in my savings account to put it towards my business. And Now, I personally think that is a terrible idea because if I put like four grand into my business, probably make like between 10 and 20 grand back if I do it right 
if I get the right mentor, if I go through the right course, I'll probably, I will definitely make more than four grand back. So it's, it's an investment totally worth it. But they won't let me. And I was getting frustrated because I wasn't accepting that. I wasn't accepting the fact that God is saying, Hey, Jack, I do not want you growing this business right now, nor do I want you moving out. I was like, but I want to. I want to move out. I want to grow this business. I know what is right for your life. Trust me. Fine. I bet you guys have had a lot of those conversations with God. Am I right? I'm right. And it all comes back to just doing what's in front of you, doesn't it? Um, the fact that I'm trying to force moving out and the fact that I'm trying to force growing my business is just evidence that that is not what is right in front of me. Getting a job is what's right in front of me. I was writing a book for a little while, but I stopped because what I now have in front of me is understanding the gospel, reading the Bible, understanding it. Understanding the science behind it, the science behind old earth creationism, the science behind um, Big Bang cosmology and how that is predicted in the Bible, the science behind all this stuff that I've made videos on. Also, I've done my research. I've now reconcluded that um, evolution is 100% impossible and I'm going to make a video about it, okay? You've only got 13.8 billion years, guys. That's not long enough. Also... There is a layer between the Triassic and Jurassic periods that's 10,000 years old. What that tells us is that Jurassic dinosaurs like Allosaurus, Stegosaurus, Apatosaurus, Diplodocus replaced the Triassic dinosaurs like Stelophysis, Platyosaurus within less than 10,000 years. And they claim that it takes millions of years for a single adaptation to appear. Hmm sounds a bit fishy and I'm not just saying that because there is water around me that's land <laughs> um but yeah that is talk talks episode five start your morning off right don't indulge in instant gratification activities and do what's in front of you do not get attached to what it is that you want to do because it will come at the right time thanks very much for watching guys done Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video, if you did, drop a like and consider subscribing for more wisdom and personal development tips. God bless you guys, bye.